Right now at 9, a Fox 10 News alert with the latest election results update tonight. The Associated Press declaring Democrat Mark Kelly the winner in Arizona's Senate race. Senator Kelly just released a statement saying in part, thank you to the people of Arizona for re-electing me to the United States Senate. It's been one of the great honors of my life to serve as Arizona's senator. I'm humbled by the trust our state has placed in me to continue this work. Here's a look at the numbers. Kelly with 52%, Masters with 46%. Uh, a ballot drop tonight that was expected to go the Republicans' way did not. And it put Kelly over the top and it put Kerry Lake in some peril as well. Let's check out some of the other numbers so far tonight. The race for Secretary of State also just officially called for Democrat Adrian Fontes after this latest ballot drop tonight. Uh, he takes down Republican Mark Fincham. All right, right now, 275,000 ballots across the state still need to be counted. So there is a lot still out there on the table. This could all change. It could. But tonight, about 75,000 ballots were added to Maricopa County's election results. The majority of those ballots were the ones that were dropped off on Election Day. Those early ballots dropped off on Election Day. And again, here's the latest results for the governor's race. Carrie Lake still trailing Katie Hobbs. Katie Hobbs has 50.7% of the vote. Carrie Lake, 493 So it is still close. Katie Hobbs now leading by about 31,000 votes. Checking in on the Arizona Attorney General's race. Democrat Chris Mays running against Republican Abe Hamaday. She has widened her lead tonight with these results that came in from Maricopa County. And again, as Christina mentioned, these were those late early ballots dropped off on Election Day that Republicans have been counting on to propel them. Tonight, that first batch of these did not go their way.